a very good day to all of you welcome to this class of science we are going to start agricultural practices in crop production and management let's see what we have done in the last class crop plants of the same kind that are grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place there are two cropping pattern rabi crop and kharif crop agricultural practices activities undertaken by a farmer for cultivation of crops here you can see all the agricultural practices the first step is preparation of soil it is essential to prepare the soil so we can have a healthy and good produce soil is prepared by the following methods plowing and leveling plowing the process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing it is also known as tilling let's find out what is the importance of plowing it brings nutrient rich soil to the top which helps in the growth of plants it assists the growth of microbes and worms which performs decomposing and adds nutrients and humus to the soil plowing also removes weeds and other waste materials from the field loose soil also provides better irrigation to the roots it allows roots to the plants to penetrate deeply into the soil this firmly roots the plant do you know that earthworms are called friend of farmers why this is your task tools used for plowing are plow hoe and cultivator plow it is the most ancient tool made up of wood or a metal such as iron it is drawn by cattle or tractors here you can see a simple plow drawn by cattle and tractors hoe it is the ancient agricultural tool cultivator modern tool for plowing it is expensive but saves time and labor it is drawn by tractors here you can see a picture of cultivator leveling the soil needs to be leveled again to crush big lumps of soil it ensures strong foundation and uniform distribution of water leveling of soil is done with the help of a leveler here you can see a simple leveler now there is a task for you you have to collect pictures of some agricultural tools and write their names and uses sowing of seeds this is the second step in crop production it is the process of putting seeds in the soil before sowing the seeds that are sown have to be selected very carefully and have to of high quality
activity time is there any method for separating good healthy seeds from the damaged ones take a beaker and fill half of it with water put a handful of wheat seeds and stir well wait for some time some seeds will come on surface of water and starts floating damaged seeds are hollow and are thus lighter therefore they float on water sowing of seeds is there any precaution to be taken before sowing seeds appropriate distance between the seeds is necessary to avoid overcrowding of plants seeds must be sown at the correct depth in the soil sowing of seeds may be done manually or with the help of implements such as seed drill manual sowing this process involves directly sprinkling seeds into the soil seeds sown in this manner are distributed unevenly also this method may not ensure that all seeds are sown at the correct depth this is a traditional tool for sowing the seeds seed drill seeds sown using a seed drill are distributed evenly and placed at the correct depth in the soil here is a task for you have you seen a scarecrow in a field find out its importance for crop production this is the third step continuous cultivation of crops makes the soil poor in nutrients the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers manuring the addition of manures to the field is called manuring what is manure why do we add manure to the soil let's find out importance of manure manure is an organic substance obtained from decomposition of plants and animal waste the decomposition is caused by some microorganisms the use of manure improves soil texture as well as its water retaining capacity it increases the fertility of the soil fertilizers what is the need of adding fertilizers manure does not have high content of nutrients fertilizers are the chemicals which are rich in particular nutrient some examples of fertilizers are urea ammonium sulfate potash and npk what is the difference between manure and fertilizer which one has more advantages here you can see the difference between fertilizer and manure advantages of manure it enhances the water holding capacity 
of the soil. It makes the soil porous. It improves the texture of soil. Crop rotation. It is the another method of replenishing the soil with nutrients. This can be done by growing different crops alternatively. There is a task for you. Farmers in North India used to grow legumes as fodder in one season and wheat in the next season. Why? What we have learned today? Preparation of soil. First step before growing a crop includes plowing and leveling. It is necessary to prepare soil by plowing and leveling. Plowing, also known as tilling, process of loosening and turning of soil. Tools used for plowing are plow, hoe, and cultivator. Leveling, to crush the big lumps of soil. Done with the help of leveler. Sowing of seeds. Process of putting seeds in the soil. Good variety of seeds are sown after selection of healthy seeds. Done manually or with the help of seed drill. Sowing of seeds at appropriate depth and distances gives good yield. Soil needs replenishment and Enrichment through the use of organic manure and fertilizers. Process of adding manures is called manuring. Manure is an organic substance obtained from decomposition of plants and animals waste. Fertilizers are the chemicals rich in particular nutrient. It is prepared in factories. The organic manure is considered better than fertilizers. Crop rotation is another method of replenishing nutrients in the soil. Now, note down your home assignment. Question number one. Fill in the blanks. The first step before growing crops is dash of the soil. Second, damage seeds would dash on water. Third, for growing a crop, sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soil are essential. Question number two. Give some examples of organic manure and chemical fertilizers. Question number 3. Write a paragraph in your own words on sowing of seeds. Question number 4. Explain how fertilizers are different from manure. Question number 5. Explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crop in the field. We will complete the remaining agricultural practices in our next part. Thank you.